The results panel is where you'll be able to analyze your responses. The insights tab is where you'll get a general overview of your results, like how many people viewed your type form, how many people started it, and the total number of responses. Scroll down for a more detailed look at views per question and the drop-off rate. This tells you which question people exit your type form on. In the Summary tab, you can get a breakdown of your results question by question. Each question will look a bit different depending on the question type. Here, you can generate a report and share your results. Customize the report by changing the colors and adding a cover or your logo. You can also hide questions if you don't want to include them in the report. Then you can share the report by copying this link here or download it as a PDF by hitting print and save. Next, the responses tab lets you dive deeper into individual respondents to see how they answered each question. The table shows questions as column headers and you can filter responses by date or by question. Here, I'll filter to see only those who chose the cookie pulley as their answer to question one. Click here to expand individual responses and click through to see more responses. From here, you can control how you see the table, including expanding or collapsing rows. In table settings, and no, not the ones you use to eat, choose which questions you want to show or hide, and drag and drop questions to switch up the order of your table. You can download all responses to a CSV or Excel file by clicking here. To download or delete selected responses, check them off and use the download or delete buttons below. Don't forget, you can also connect your type form to Google Sheets and get your responses automatically sent to a sheet. The results are in with Typeform.